Yeah. He's asking if we should be putting our goals into the budget exhibits. Uh, I think you're referring partly to should cost goals. We don't do that. We don't do it for very good reason. The idea should cost are targets. They're 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 aspirational. And what I what everybody's been concerned about ever since we started doing that was that as soon as you write down your should cost, the comptroller or the Congress or somebody will take the money. They'll assume you got the savings. Just because you have an idea of how you might get some savings doesn't mean you will get them. We, we don't hold our people to the standard of you must achieve your should cost. You must stay within your budget between the, the what we call the will cost, what the, uh, for the major programs, that's the independent cost estimate level usually. And the, the, the should cost is a target. It's a management goal that we're setting. So uh, we do, I think, sometimes talk about our successes where people have achieved it because we want people to get credit for what they've done. We don't let people realize their savings until they actually get them. Uh, first example of this was on the F-35 when Dr. Carter was still in, in, in the undersecretary position. Uh, we achieved a lower price on a fixed price contract. It was our first fixed price uh, lot of F-35. Then we had it, then the ICE had predicted and we had budgeted to the ICE. So Ash was able to call the services and say, okay, we got the better price. Uh, it's locked in, it's under contract, it's a fixed price contract, I'm gonna let you reduce your budget to come down to the level that we achieved and take that money and use it for something else. And we're gonna assume the same learning curve, we're gonna assume we're on a reasonable learning curve here, so you get a tail from that, you get some money in the out years to take as well. So we, 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 there, there's a real downside to putting these out in public and putting them out to the Congress. Now if I could get the comptrollers of the world and the service and in the and DOD and people on the Hill to not take the money once I put the number on the table, then it would be, it would be willing to do it. But I, that's not the world we're living in, I'm afraid.